Hey Virgo, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Happy, happy Monday. It's your girl Empress Meek and I am here to bring you a quick energy read for the morning to start off your day. It is morning here. I hope you guys are off to a great start. Let's see what the energy has for you today. Thank you for all your like, share, subscribe. Thank you for booking your personal readings with me. I had a very nice rest. Um, and here I am back at the back on the morning grind, back at it for you up again. All right, I appreciate all you do for our channel. Let's begin. These videos are for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Moon, Moon. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing us together and blocking and binding any negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness, spell work, or any sorcery that may come up against your channel. Anything not of your divine realm, we ask that you ban it and banish it. We only draw, draw from your divine realm of love, light, and spiritual guidance. Thank you for all you do, seen and unseen, and for having given us victory in each and every situation. Thank you for healing our hearts, minds, bodies, and spirits, and showing yourself mighty in our lives. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, Virgo. So it looks like a lot of you are working on guilt, maybe feeling bad for past choices that you've made, feeling a little bit of regret, but still, but still going forward, still pushing through. This is a lot going on in the heart space and emotions. All right. But I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So you're learning how to let that go. You're pushing past everything that may have hindered you or made you feel bad in the past things that may have been affecting you emotionally you're learning to let that go um you have a lot of promising things ahead of you you're meeting a lot of new people starting a lot of new um ventures maybe business wise or just getting to know and ready to pursue you know so you're moving forward self-esteem oh self-esteem i possess gifts of the soul and that benefits me and others okay so you are realizing that you're a star all right you're a bright light you're beautiful talented handsome witty all right um male or female you know you're realizing that you you know <laughs> you're the cream of the crop virgo so you not you are going to be whatever you believe you are you know if you're not giving yourself credit for how amazing you are nobody else will be able to do that right so I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yes, you do. Absolutely. So that's that self-esteem that you're pushing yourself and telling yourself, you know, things that you need to tell yourself to feel better and get out there. Forgiveness. All right. So a lot of you are learning to forgive or you're having to forgive something, you know, something that almost broke you. This chain is here, but it didn't. Okay. It's still connected. All right. Your emotions your stability the, how grounded you are in loving yourself and knowing that you are worthy of a great life all right that's still connected all right so i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love and it does you see how that's another thing that that chain is representing something stopping or holding you back all right but you're understanding that you have to forgive to move forward all right and raise your vibration and you're doing that perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to a lot of stability there that green represents your money your stability um your ability to move forward in a positive direction and make things stick okay um it's showing balancing your emotions groundedness and loyalty you know it's showing that you are very um very responsible very dependable and reliable and balance with your emotions. So you're getting there. You now you're moving forward. You're persevering. Adversity. I accept the challenges that are. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. All right. So you're understanding that you're not going to be like everybody. Everybody's not going to be like you. Everybody's not going to like you. You're not going to like everybody. The sooner you understand those things, the faster you can move forward. And so you're embracing that. You know, to each its own, basically. All right. And you're understanding that and it's helping you persevere. It's helping you move forward. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Yes, you guys are appreciating the people that are close to you more. The people that are showing you love. All right. And because you're loving and you're loving yourself more and being confident, being vibrant, 
you're con you're attracting all these new friendships all these new people in your life and these are people that love you and stand by your side and they appreciate you underneath the bottom um of the deck was regret i know that i cannot change the past okay so the sunflower has died okay all the hard work it takes to grow how big and beautiful it is the time has come for it to die. Every year they die and they grow back. So this cycle has ended. All right. And you're understanding, you know, I just got to let it go. It's no need for me to harbor regret. What happened happened and it happened for a reason. So I got to let it go. Let's dive a little deeper, Virgo, and see what else is going on. See what Holy Spirit wants to say about this. Get a couple oracle cards on this. Yes, so you're balancing your shadow side in order to persevere. So your shadow side are the emotions and the things that you feel in the dark that people don't see. The way you suffer in silence about some things sometimes and how things really get to you. But we don't show that on the surface. Um, we tend to, to address those issues when we're alone. So we won't affect anybody because our energy is strong. And we all know that, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Suffering in silence. Yeah, so you're balancing that energy. Self-esteem. And adversity. Yeah, so you're letting the universe pour into you. You're letting the universe help you out in understanding that you deserve these things that are coming to you. You know, the good things that are coming to you, you deserve it. All right? And the things that you're waiting for, just be patient. Be patient when it comes to adversity and people coming up against you. Um, be patient on healing in the inside for your self-esteem to be boosted. But it's happening, all right? Forgiveness and friendship. A lot of you may be forgiven friends that you strayed away from, that you feel like hurt you. Um, you're feeling like not harboring resentment. You wanna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna, Stay upset, right? You don't want to continue to um, hold a grudge. You want to bury the headshed for a lot of with a lot of people that you may have cut off and just been really cold with. So you're getting around to it. Material and spiritual prosperity is coming because of it, right? Yeah, and it's because you balance your emotions, sacral chakra. Um, and some of you may need to balance your emotions, but as far as feeling regretful about any of your choices and any of these things hindering you, there is victory here. Okay, Virgo. So, let's see what the tarot wants to tell you. Hierophant. So, Holy Spirit is here over your reading, making sure that you know that you are loved. Things will go in your favor. This is you. Um, persevering is a higher level of commitment, maybe to your job. Some of you may be getting raises. Um, it could be your commitment to yourself. All right. Either way, whatever you're committing to, this next level is happening and you're getting victory and success in that. All right. A lot of you may, be, may have been suffering in silence in a home situation or about stability, but those things are about to get better. Things are about to go in your favor as far as that. Yeah, absolutely. About to be stable. Some of you are committing. You're found, you found someone that you actually can grow with and love. A give and take, an equal give and take. And somebody is going to show you that you're worth it. All right? And believing that you're worth it and understanding that all of these things that you've been working on in your soul, forgiveness and adversity and perseverance um, and guilt, all of those things, you working on that and doing the inner work is bringing you your Ten of Pentacles. It's bringing you exactly what you deserve. Okay, and then material and spiritual prosperity is here. Yep. So you're moving forward in confidence. Look at that, Virgo. So you get to move forward in confidence. You're knowing that things are going to work for you, and they are working for you. Everything is coming together. You're staying in your energy. You know what you deserve. Um, pretty soon, you'll be able to lower your sword a little bit, but right now, you are not taking anybody's crap. All right, they have to approach you correctly, and if they don't, then this is not going to work out. So you're knowing your worth, you're going forward, and you're being confident. 
and it is working for you okay it is working for you i don't feel like this is you cutting anybody off i feel like this is you persevering in relationships connections friendships situations with your family i feel like things are really coming together for you all right last but not least let's get a self-love message and i'm gonna let you go virgo for virgo for virgo holy spirit mm. That's what I'm looking for. Right. So it says, dance, sing, play. The universe works fast when you're just having fun. So enjoy this time. And who, for those of you who have met somebody new, enjoy this. You know, enjoy each other. Learn as much as you can about each other so you can continue to grow. All right. Trust in the divine timing. Trust that you're protected and you have your intuition and it's very sharp. You can use your intuition to see through whoever, okay? Return to self. Come home to you. Give yourself. Give to yourself. Be your own first priority. It's time to fall in love with you. And I was getting that for some of you. It's just you falling in love with yourself, loving yourself more, right? Dream into life. See and feel what will soon be real. Take time to visualize experience that you want to have before any situation. All right, so it's telling you to manifest in order to get this prosperity and change and to move forward with confidence. Make sure you show the universe what it is that they're taking you toward and what you want. All right, last but not least, declutter, clean, organize, and prioritize your, simplify your life. All right, so there may be some things that you need to move to the side or get a get rid of all right and you will you will in due time but just make sure that you are focusing on yourself loving yourself you know and declutter is good because you may need to declutter your mind too all right virgo so i feel like i've been talking for a month and a day but <laughs> but this was some good information and i'm glad to be here to share your reading with you i will see you sooner than later thank you for being here with me and if you need to know anything about me or you would like to book a personal reading while i'm still doing those my email is closer the number two my destiny the number one at gmail.com have a beautiful start to your week and i will see you later bye loves